Today, we are taking a look at an abandoned movie theater called Danbury Cinemas in Dayton, Ohio. Once a bustling hub of entertainment, this iconic theater now stands forgotten, serving as a haunting reminder of the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. When its doors closed, its marquee faded. The theater's vibrant past lies dormant within its walls, awaiting a reawakening that may never come. Join us as we explore the echoes of laughter, the whispers of moviegoers, and the nostalgic memories that will still linger within the abandoned corridors of the Danbury Theater. This theater was bought by a larger company which has plans to demolish the building and create a larger cinema on the grounds. So join us today and let's see what's left. What is up everybody, it is Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today, we are in this abandoned theater. It's a movie theater, and this is the first one that we have ever done on this channel. I've already walked through the place, kind of made sure what was here and what was not here. A lot of stuff is left behind, all the seats are still there. There's some rips in the screens, but they're all still there. This place shut down because of COVID, literally like a year ago, and they haven't opened up since. This place is actually scheduled for demolition. It's been bought by another theater and they're going to actually build a bigger one right here along with another one that's in this same area. So we're gonna walk through this place. I'm with my friend Urban Decay today. This was actually a cheaper cinema. So like all of the movies were like a dollar to three dollars. So it's one of those really nice theaters just to have, but sadly, you know, it shut down. So I'm gonna walk you through this entire place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell and leave a like, let's get right into it. So currently I'm in this room, which I assume is like the manager's room, manager's office. A lot of stuff left in here. We've got the Folgers coffee. We've got the trash, well, we got the Black & Decker. We've got everything. Printers. This is like a thermostat for every single like theater. And look at this, all these keys are still here too. I wonder if these are for the, yeah, they show like office, workroom. But from looking at that, we come over here, we got the microwave, all these bags of popcorn. We got a filing cabinet here. Shows the invoice reports. Emergency inspection, fire, payroll registers. We got tickets. I doubt these were for the movie, but they're definitely for something. We got a weekly recap binder. Looks like applications for the job. A lot of just work-related stuff. So this must be the manager's desk. And it looks like we got a free steak burger to steak and shake. I wonder how good these are good for. Not only that, I could get a few double steak burgers. There's a few coupons right there. And guys, by the time you're seeing this video, this place is probably already gone. That's why I'm showing the name. So look at this, Danbury Cinemas, $5. This certificate may be redeemed at the Danbury Cinema box office. So I guess it's like a coupon. We have your entrance to the theater, which we have some glass brick on that side, which is always like classic, you know, love that. It's got like this darker pink color and these green carpets. You can see Danbury Cinemas, free refills when you buy a large drink and large popcorn. And this is where you get your, uh, your tickets at. We have another one here. Let's see, we got this glass brick here. I love glass brick. It's so like retro, love it. 
but this is what you see when you walk in. These are like cinema, uh, like tapes on the carpet. We still got some candy left behind. We got milk duds. We got some goobers. These are still in the package. But yes, I would like a uh, large popcorn and a uh, large Coke, but nobody's here. Hmm. The main lobby is just like kind of falling apart. Must have been something here. Something's broken all over there. But you see this whole theater. So right to my left here, we have our restrooms. Sorry, I'm limping guys. I hurt myself earlier. Oh, it stinks so bad in here. Oh, these are huge. Wow, it goes way down there. It stinks so bad though. But what would have been here? Oh, okay, so reading off of this sign. There would have been arcade games here. Maybe little rides or something too. Yeah, there would have been like arcade games. That's so cool. Just this big empty space now. I'm going to take you into our first theater. Right here. And you'll notice that some of these movies are a bit newer. So we got Spies in Disgust. seats the screen's not really here but wow but I didn't know the speakers were behind the screen if you can see that just a huge abandoned movie theater guys down in the comments Tell me where you would sit in a theater. Normally, I kind of like to sit on the sides here, but if the movie theater is kind of like more empty, I'll sit straight up right down there. Get the big view. But yeah, drop down in the comments where you would sit in a theater. So walking down the hallway. Now when we first walked in here and I saw this, I got really scared for a second. Giant spider, <laughs> what the heck? You know, for being closed not that long, it's very decayed. Like, look at the floors, the stains on the floors and everything on the walls. This is a smaller screen. So that Spies and Disgust movie must have been there. Their big show of the day. But look at the screen. Why is it ripped? Again, I love this. You know, I live for theaters like this. Small ones that are cheap, that still show the good movies. Because on the outside, which you'll see in the video, you know, these movies were pretty good movies. Parasite, Gretel and Hansel, very good movies. And you know, now this place is left like this. So I'm gonna keep showing you guys everything. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we just went in here with the spider. And now we're gonna continue walking down this hallway. And right here we come to a storage closet. Just a lot of like cleanup supplies, you know, things like that. And it's all kind of chest. What the heck, why is there a parking thing in here? <laughs> Probably get the maintenance room right here. Got a little thing for your mopping. Oh, this actually leads into the like kitchen area right behind the uh, the main area where you get your tickets and everything, where you get your popcorn. This must have been their electrical snack room. I don't know. I'm seeing different things in here. Most probably for snacks. Yeah, this is where they stock stuff. There's a whole thing of chips right here. We got some melted Sour Patch Kids. 
bags of popcorn, like huge bags of popcorn. In these boxes right here is like the soda. So this is Diet Coke. This is regular Coke. We have Gold Peak Sweet Tea, Mellow Yellow. Yeah, love me some Mellow Yellow. We have like little light bulbs in here too. I can smell the root beer. Holy crap, I can actually smell it. Actually it says what the things were meant for. It says medium lids, large lids, small lids, nacho chips, nacho cheese. That's why the chips are here. Stocking rules. You must take the entire case of candy to the concession stand. Do not leave open or partial cases in the stock room. Well, they already messed up with that. All these are partially open. All right, and to look a little more in here, this is where there's like Coke and Mountain Dew and whatever. It's all green and sludgy, nasty. But I assume it would have all went right through these tubes out there to where they pump the drinks out. This shows how to clean. We got a three sink right here. Sanitize, rinse, apply wash. We got the ice maker, a fridge. We opened up the fridge and it made a really bad smell, so I'm not gonna open that up again because there's nothing in it. It's just really smelly. Yeah, let's keep walking down this hallway. So to my left and right, we have a theater. We got one right here and one right here. They don't say the names of the movies though. We're gonna go in one right here. First walk in, please turn off your cell phones. Again, big theater room. But again, I don't know why the, the thing is ripped. It's like this in every single one of these. Guys, if you know a reason why they do this, uh, please tell me, because I don't know, I don't think it's vandals, because there's nothing else that's vandalized in here. It's just, you can just tell that it was left. But well, we're gonna walk through every single one of these for you guys, I don't wanna miss a thing. There's tons of spider webs in here. Again, please silence your cell phones before entering. This one's very small, it's much smaller than the rest of them. But the screen is huge. <laughs> it's showing so much decay just for being closed for a year. And then right down this way, we get a little strange area right here, which might have been another, this is actually another concession stand, I think. So they had two concession stands in this place. And for being a you know, budget theater. It's kind of strange. I've never seen that before. Look at this. We have these Coca-Cola things. There's a couple others in here too. Oh, this actually says like, Twizzlers, Raisinette, Skittles, snow caps, and when it was playing, you know, all your candies. And of course they're expensive, 425, my gosh. I can get them at the dollar store for a dollar. Some gummy bears, they're probably Haribo, which by the way, are the best gummy bears. This might've been a room to stock the snacks for here. Yeah, cause see there's another tube for the drinks. So there was a second this concession stand, that's cool. I'm trying to be as careful as possible, guys. I don't know if I broke my foot or what. It feels really, really bad. I made a stupid mistake trying to skateboard for my first time since I was 11. And yeah. So, Just Mercy. I've actually never heard of that movie. And then Photograph, I've heard of that one. Let's go into one of these. We'll start off with Just Mercy. And again, not a very big theater room and we got the big screen and a random lamp. Now guys in theaters like this one, I know these are, well actually, I was thinking these were gonna be handicapped seats, but they're actually not. 
seats were just taken out. But if there's leg space, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna sit there. You know, I'm tall. And I'd rather not have people in front of me when I'm watching a movie. So we're gonna go up there here in a minute, but I wanna show you the rest of the actual theater rooms, and then we'll go up to the top where the projectors would have been to kind of see what's left up there. Photograph. Do you guys like this movie? Let me know in the comments. This one, this screen's not beat up too bad. Again, just a small theater. I'm not really noticing much difference in each one. Um, I was thinking like maybe a screen wouldn't be ripped in one of them and would be in another. So coming down to the end of this, look at this. We got the IC guy. That's so sick. <laughs> I love these. I love ICs. They're the best. Get a nice IC and a popcorn. And watch a movie, yeah, you're ballin'. So we have one more theater on this side, and then we have the rest of the ones down on that end, which I'll take you down there, and then we will go upstairs. Underwater. I think I've heard of this movie, but I haven't seen it yet. To my understanding, I think it's a thriller movie. Wow, every single one of them is just ripped. The colors are kind of strange too. Faded maroon red and like a nude color. Now I'm gonna take you to the right side where there's some more popular movies on that side. And yeah, then we'll go upstairs and see what is left behind. I haven't really checked that out too much yet. So I'm hoping to see like projectors and films and all that stuff left in there. All right, so going to this side now. Uh, okay. All right, that's the movie, okay. <laughs> no, guys, I don't know. Um, uh, it's written on the outside. I'd have to go out there and see, but I'm not too sure. Yo, not gonna lie, when I first walked in here, I straight up thought that that was a giant person because those look like legs. <laughs> then we got 1917 is the movie for here. This door is actually closed, unlike the rest of them. And this one has a longer like aisle but and the screen is much smaller it's so different but, like just look at the amount of decay that is happening in this place just being a year of abandonment now personally knowing these cheaper theaters it could have been showing signs of neglect before it shut down. I've seen some that have been really dirty that I've gone to watch movies at before. Obviously, probably not this dirty, but. Come down to this side. We don't have another concession right here. But we have, looks like, a maintenance area. And some supplies, but not much. So we'll go to the left first. And to the left, we have the movie Parasite. And I'm sure you guys have heard of that one before. Very good movie, thriller movie. This one doesn't have as big of a rip in it, but you know, it still does. Each theater is just, each room is a different size, literally. You see these two seats right here? Those are the makeout seats. That's where the couple sits in the back and they just, you know, go at it. The Gin Men and Gretel and Hansel. So Gretel and Hansel was like a horror movie. I don't know what the Gin Man is, but we're gonna go in there first anyways. That one's big ripped. 
Now the biggest theater in here, the whole thing is nearly gone, but the rest of them have some, you know. And this one's much smaller in size. It's so different. Every single one of them are laid out differently. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but like when you're here, they're all different. This side has so many more seats than this side, which is strange. And the aisle is not right down the middle, it's off centered. This place is built weird. Time for us to go upstairs and see what is up in the projector rooms and see if we can see anything left behind. Straight from behind the concession stand, we have the stairs that go up to where the projectors would have been. So we're gonna see what they left behind up here. And I wanna show you guys everything that I can find in this place. Attention, if you are doing counts or putting away stock, you are not allowed to be upstairs. The booth is not your break room. You need to have both manager and booth operator approval before you go upstairs. Think. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, look at this. This is all film. I can't tell what it is. Might have been Doolittle, because it's right by this one. Yeah, and you see down there. There's all these giant letters too. Probably for the outside signs. And look, there's just tons of them. All right, I'm walking down this side and there's just a lot of stuff, like a lot of random things that I'm seeing. We got old radio, we got some weird equipment. We even got the cup holders for some of the chairs and some chairs. This must've been some of the ones they took out. We have a little Deadpool thing right here. But this must have been another, you know, desk for a manager or something like that. Look, here's even like a schedule for when the people worked. I'm not seeing any projectors though, which kind of sucks. Yo, if this is the old carpet, well, that might be the current carpet. This one's just cleaner. I don't know, that's like retro though, it looks cool. We got the old souvenir cups. Superman, Star Wars, this is some trash. It's just like weird up here, you know? So here's the Spies in Disguise. I wonder what this is. Does this like rewind the movie or something? If anybody has worked in a theater and knows what this type of thing is, please let me know. But what I'm seeing is like a thing right here that might spin around and rewind the movie or something. And then we have these. I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't look like a projector to me. FedEx packages, this old microwave. We have a ladder that goes up onto the roof of the place. These are just more openings for the theaters. Oh, so this movie was Knives Out. That was the K. This like maybe held the film in it or something. This is a very cool place, guys. Lots of metal and junk, it looks like. Do not use. I think it's because the stairs were taken off outside, so if you walk out the door, you're falling a pretty long ways. And you'll probably have a foot just like mine. Not sure what these big silver things are. But then we just got control panels down there. We're gonna go down here to the other side, and that will be the theater. So on this side of the upstairs, we get more film. A lot more film. Trash you know, popcorn things, 
big thing of film right here, like a big roll. Doesn't even say what movie. Oh, sick. These are 3D glasses. Probably for little kids. I don't know. <laughs> These definitely don't fit my face. I wonder if there's any other like really big ones, so let's go check that out. Yo, this looks cool. Three D theater system. So is this for three D movies? Long thing of film to like holy crap, there's like a hundred films here. I wonder what they're all for. Like what movies they were. There's even more on the table here. Larger than life. I've heard of that movie. So they've got a whole bunch here. Dragon Heart. I didn't see a name for that one. Holy crap, guys. It's a giant beauty and the beast. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was in 3D. There's like 3D things to throw it away whenever you're done. There's got to be some like adult sized 3D glasses here, I think. Popcorn bags on the walls. Christmas trees, Halloween decorations, and all this is just gonna come down with the building. Look at this. This is like a wreath, but it's like a spider in it. And a big blow up Frankenstein. So many cool things in here. But yeah, that's this side of the theater and that's pretty much the entire theater. All right guys, well that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed very much. Like I said, first abandoned movie theater that we've done on this channel, and it's pretty cool to say the least. I'm sad to see that the screens have been ripped and some of the things have been trashed, but for the most part, it's untouched and a lot of stuff left behind. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys join in every single week when we go on these epic adventures. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and turn on the post notification bell. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big Banks out.